We do have developing news right off the top this noon. Several students are being treated at a hospital after their bus flipped on its side. Look at these pictures. Police say the driver lost control on slippery roads when coming down a hill and then the bus ended up tipping over. Five kids were taken to United Memorial Hospital in Greenville. There were 20 middle schoolers on board at the time. This crash happened around 6.45 this morning on Grow Road and South County Line, southeast of Greenville. We do have a crew in Greenville talking to students right now. We will have a live report shortly. Turning now to another developing story we have for you. The federal government has announced that it will recognize same-sex marriages in Michigan. 24-hour News 8's Coco McAvoy has been following this controversial battle and has a closer look at what this new step means for the hundreds of same-sex couples who tied the knot last weekend. Coco, tell us more about it. Well, Sue, as you said, it's still very controversial, but the attorney general says this decision is consistent with previous cases in other states. This means those 300 same-sex couples who were married last weekend will receive federal recognition and will be eligible for all federal benefits. U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder made the announcement this morning. It comes two days after Michigan Governor Rick Snyder said Michigan will not recognize the marriages until the case is settled in the courts. Snyder's move closed the door to certain state benefits reserved solely for married couples. So even though the marriages are federally recognized, same-sex couples still won't have the legal right to adopt children together or file joint income taxes at the state level. Of course, this is a story that we will continue to follow through each development and we'll let you know of any updates. Live in studio, I'm Coco McAvoy, 24-Hour News 8.